Blast! I can't find it anywhere! I've checked my tent. Frederick's, even the armory. Is it in the bath? Is this the object you were searching for, sir? Fulchin! Thank the gods! Muriel, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this! It is nothing, sir. I trust you will find it in satisfactory condition. Yes, it looks fine. Where did you find it? It seems in your efforts to escape the medic tent, you left the armament behind. I procured it and brought it to you. But I checked the medic tent a while ago and it wasn't there. Ah. That would be due to the fact that it has been in my possession for many hours. What? What were you doing with it? I simply observed, my lord. I touched neither blade nor hilt, yet recorded my observations. You just... looked at it. For hours? Why? Your blade is unique, thus scientifically intriguing. Not to mention the physics of the worthiness clause seems impossible. In conclusion, your rapier should not exist. And yet it still lies in your hands. I see what you mean. In any case, I found myself fascinated by it. Therefore, I neglected to return it to you properly. I find myself unfamiliar with social customs. Would an apology be socially acceptable in this part of the exchange? Uh, yes, I suppose you can apologize now. Very well. I am truly sorry, sir. You know, Muriel, you are brilliant at times. I am glad to have you with us. I just don't understand what goes on in your mind sometimes. That ought to do it for today. Hmm. Uh, Muriel? What are you doing? Writing an inquiry as to the nature of your sword. Pay me no heed, sir. I am just making notes of my observations. Still observing? Of course. Your sword is the source of endless queries. In truth, I would leap at the chance to study it more thoroughly. However, as I am aware of its lineage and necessity, I shall not ask to borrow it. You know, talking with you before got me thinking about Falchion. I have taken it for granted that it's a magic sword blessed by Naga to fell Grima. But the more I thought about it, the more I found you were right. It should be impossible for the sword to dull just by having someone else wield it. So, with all that said, I'll allow you to borrow it. You will permit me to conduct a more thorough examination of your sword? Yes, I think it would be good for me. So, what would you like to study first? Hmm... Uh, Muriel? I am most curious as to its sharpness differential. What? Why it is sharp for you alone, sir. How does it alter its dullness in an instant? Does the sword undergo instantaneous metallurgical metamorphosis? And does the sword possess other magical properties? Slow down! We haven't even started yet! Look, you can do whatever experiments you like, as long as I'm there and I approve first. Of course I'll need you there. I'll need you to be the control. Come along, sir. Oh, hold on, Muriel! Stop pushing! I'm coming, I promise! Fascinating. The log was cleft neatly in two at the merest oscillation of your arms. Well, it was just a little log. Alright, it's your turn now. You would have me swing falchion, sir? Of course. That way you could see for yourself. Intriguing. As you wish. HA! The sword bounced off without a scratch. Muriel, it's nothing to be disappointed over. I was pretty sure that would happen. I am not disappointed, sir. It is perhaps the most remarkable phenomenon that I have ever studied. 
It, it is? I was aware I would not be able to do any damage. I knew that from the beginning. However, one cannot be certain until one attempts for oneself. That makes sense. Indeed. It is the nature of scientific discovery. What most take for granted, we scholars strive to explain. You can see that the sky is blue. Yet one such as I must ascertain for oneself. Is it truly blue? Or is it some sort of illusion? In the search for truth, more is uncovered than what was originally set out to be. I think you're far more brilliant than I realized, Muriel. Though, I still have trouble grasping how your mind works. I'm very glad that you're here to give me the opportunity to know you. I find that I too am glad that I am here, sir. Ah, my lord. Muriel? What is it? I have come to you with a confession of sorts, sir. A confession? Is everything alright? Quite. However, I felt remiss in hiding my intentions from you any longer. Intentions? What? When I first requested the opportunity to study Falchion, it was purely for research. It truly is an anomaly. A truly fascinating one at that. However, as our experiments progressed, I found myself less engrossed with my research than at the outset. Go on. My queries shifted direction from the blade towards its owner, and I found myself more intrigued by him than by my initial inquiries. And what exactly does that mean? My inclination towards knowledge and the pursuit thereof was superseded by a burning in my chest, the likes of which I've never experienced before. A desire to spend more time with you, sir. And you're certain it doesn't have anything to do with Falchion? Most certain. While Falchion still holds intellectual intrigue, these sensations in my chest often cause me to forget where I am and what I am doing. Tell me, sir, are you aware of the cause of these sensations? I fear I have no precedent for these phenomena. I'm pretty sure it means that now is the perfect time to present you with this. Ah, a strip of gold forged into a torrid shape and bearing the seal of House Elise. Judging by these properties, I ascertain that this is a ring. Am I correct, sir? Yes, you are. It's a signet ring my parents had crafted for me when I was born. Are you aware of what that means? I have read of similar objects in my studies of local rituals, particularly one regarding... Oh my... You're asking for my hand in marriage, are you not? That's the idea, Muriel. You have such a beautiful way of looking at the world. I eagerly awaited the times we would spend talking about swords and science. If these sensations in my chest mean what I have ascertained them to mean, then I feel similarly. I... do believe that I love you, sir. You could just call me Crom now, Muriel. Fascinating. Standards of propriety crumble in the wake of mutual feelings of affection. I must apologize, though. I have a long way to go before we are able to wed. I have a country to rebuild. People to support. I don't know when we would be able to- That is of no hindrance to me. I fully comprehend your responsibilities. And I believe that I would delight in shouldering them with you. <laughs> That's wonderful, Muriel! And just think! Our children could possibly wield Falchion. You would have even more to investigate. Ah, yes. Empirical data suggests that offspring do inherit traits of their parents. I find myself envisioning very beautiful and intelligent children, Krom. <laughs> then I guess we have our work cut out for us, don't we?